Hi there, I'm Heidi Swap, and I am so excited to share with you one of my, my most favorite new products, which is the Reactive Mist. What this is, is it's kind of like what you would be used to, a, a, color, sh a color shine or a spray, but this time it reacts with the foils as you put it through the mink. So it does have the mink label on it. Now, let me just preface this entire video by telling you that this takes the longest to dry. Um, the other mediums, the paint and the screen ink, go on very thin and, uh, and so it dries very quickly. This one will leave kind of a little bit more of, uh, it, it's got more body to it. It takes a little bit longer to dry. So just keep that in mind as you're using it. So as you spray it, the spray, um, the spray nozzle that comes on it has a very strong spray. If you have some of my Color Shine bottles, or maybe, and what I like to do is when I've used one of my Color Shine bottles, I'll replace the nozzle um, so that I get a finer mist or a chunkier mist, for lack of a better word, right? So this is kind of a chunky one, and I like to spray, um, and what I've done is I've just kind of, you notice I've kind of sprayed from quite a distance because I like to get um, kind of a really haphazard spray. Now, uh, you can use stencils. This is a more of an organic um, spritzing look. You really want those splatters to be all foiled, which is what really looks cool. So I'm going to try holding this up so you can kind of see the wetness of how this just has kind of some drips randomly on the tag. All right. Now, before you put anything through the, the mink machine, particularly of the mediums, you want to make sure that they're completely dry. So I'm going to use my heat tool to make sure that this is dry. Okay, you're just going to want to make sure that it's nice and dry, and sometimes you even have to let it cool because when it's hot with the heat tool, it will seem a little bit sticky. Now I've got a couple here that I've already dried in addition to this one, so I'm going to show you a couple different ideas. Of, ha of how it looks. So let's go ahead and I can stick both of these in together right into this transfer folder and I'm going to stick the foil so that the foil is face up and you just want to make sure that you cover all of the medium like this part of the tag isn't covered with the foil but there's no medium there so it's going to be okay you just really want to make sure that the medium is covered by the foil. Now while I'm waiting for the mink to do its job, that's a good time to kind of clean my non-stick mat. The mediums are quite sticky, so you really want to make sure that you keep a, some wipes handy. Okay, now as I pull this out, I always kind of like to see, you can see right through the transfer sheet, where the foil has adhered or where the reactivity has happened. I'm going to go ahead and lift these off. Now this is the coolest part about the mists is that you can see, like look at those splatters. It, it just reacts with every ounce of the, the mist that goes through. I'm going to show you this one as well. So you can get so many different effects with the, the mist. And it's really a cool um, feature to put over the top. So as you're building, if you, for example, like if you add the paint or the screen and you foil it, you can always layer mediums on top as long as they've been foiled. They won't re-react. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this off and there again you can see, look at the variety of effects that you can get by just playing with how you spray um, sometimes you can do droplets, you can flick, um, you can really play get, get funky effects. Alright, now the next thing that I want to show you is once you have added your foil, how cool it looks to add color and color shine over the top. So what I'm going to do is grab a paper towel and even though I'm using a craft mat, I like to put the paper towel underneath it so that it's just an easier, quicker, cleaner, cleaner upper. This is one of my new colors of color shine. 
you just really want to make sure that you shake it up really well before you start to spray. And I always like to make sure that it's spraying before that I really take it right onto my project. And what I'm going to do is make sure that as I'm spraying, I want to kind of cover these. So I'm going to spray over with my hand floating over the tags so that the, the color will, will lay down nice and evenly on my tags. All right. Give it a second to kind of soak in. And then I'm going to take another paper towel and I'm going to lay it over the top and just press down to absorb any excess mist. But look at how awesome this looks. What's really fun is that, and I got to just buff it a little bit, the color shine kind of resists off the foil. <laughs> you can see that, and, and I want to I show you what happens. This dot was not completely dry before I put it through the mink. So what happens is when it goes through the mink, the pressure and the heat will like squish it out to the side. So that's what's happened is we've gotten some squishing there and there's a tiny amount of reaction that's happening that is in fact still resisting the shine. So that's why it's really important to make sure that your mediums have completely dried, otherwise it kind of smears it out over the tag. But still, totally love that effect and that color combination of the sweet mint with the gold foil. Mm, that is awesome. All right, that should get your mind going. So grab yourself some of this reactive mist and even some of my new color shine colors and make pretty stuff. <laughs>